वाले बाबू वेलकम्स यू शॉर्ट हैंड डिक्टेशन इन मेल एंड फीमेल वॉइस फ्रॉम ऑल सोर्सेस लाइक मैगजीन्स स्पीचेस एंड एडिटोरियल्स एट वेरियस स्पीड्स अप टू वन ट्वेंटी डब्ल्यू पी एम फॉर वेरियस डिपार्टमेंट्स लाइक एस एस सी डी एस एस बी सी आर पी एफ दिल्ली पुलिस एक्सेट्रा प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल थैंक यू एक्सरसाइज नंबर ट्वेंटी आई हैव पुट यू द inconvenience of coming all the way to delhi in this weather but i am sure that in view of the importance of the subject we are going to discuss you will not consider any apology necessary i also hope that the results which this conference may achieve will more than make up for the inconvenience caused you as you probably know the government of india have initiated several schemes for youth welfare something has already been achieved within a short period but a great deal remains to be done with regard to games and sports i have been watching the scene for some time now with increasing concern but i have so far abstained from intervening i believe that in such matters we should rely on voluntary efforts and self help rather than on arrangements howsoever good imposed from above i understood that certain efforts were being made by persons actually concerned with sports organizations to set their house in order and i therefore thought it best for the government to await the result of those efforts and if those efforts bore fruit to give all possible support to the new arrangements it appears however that conditions are such that they are difficult to reform and that it will in any case be a long process i do not wish to go into the rights and wrongs of it i cannot however ignore the fact that not only are we far behind even much smaller countries in games and sports but also that our general standards are poor and our interest meager sports and games have a very important role to play in the building up of a healthy nation but one cannot say that they are playing that role in our country at all effectively indeed i am not sure whether the popular interest in games and sports was not greater and standards comparatively higher 30 or 40 years ago it is against this background that i have invited you today to consider what measures should be adopted to improve the existing state of affairs i have deliberately not put before you any fixed agenda as i would like you to feel free to raise whatever points you may consider especially important it will of course not be possible for this conference to go into details and we can perhaps leave that for future we must consider the resources both human and material at our disposal and examine how they can be utilized to the best advantage as for the human material 
I see no reason to believe that it is in any way inferior to the human material in any other country. But we must devise effective means for its mobilization and training. It is in my opinion a caution of organization. You with your rich and intimate experience of sports can no doubt suggest the most effective concrete steps to take. It appears to me, however, that the greatest need is to have not only effective but clean organizations which will be free from defects that one hears so much about. The sports organizations must command general confidence and respect. They must therefore not merely be good but also appear to be good so that their leadership is accepted and the largest possible numbers come into the fold of sports. We must draw into sports leaders and organizers who are genuinely devoted to sports and eliminate those who merely seek personal advantage. Another point which I would like to emphasize in this connection is that while the government should undoubtedly do all that lies in their power to encourage and support sports, the main responsibility much remain in with those institutions and organizations which are actively engaged in the work so that sports rest on voluntary, spontaneous and popular efforts. The main problem therefore appears to be to evolve an organization which will be democratic resting on the willing and enthusiastic endeavor of the largest number of persons possible, built on the good work already done by the existing organization and be both efficient and on healthy lines, ensuring fair play and the spirit of sportsmanship, the participation of the largest number from the lowest levels of words and good competitive standards at all levels. A very important part of the problem of organization is the provision of coaching and training facilities. I am aware that certain ad hoc coaching schemes were initiated in the past. Unfortunately, they were not only too few but also inadequate in their approach. It is not enough that some hurried coaching arrangements should be made in preparation for a particular competitive event. Not only does it fail to yield the desired result but it also places the wrong emphasis on competitive events while we would all be gratified by the success of Indian participants in international contest what is really important is not success in particular competitive events but the building up of a nation physically fit and imbued with the spirit of sportsmanship in the competitive world. Thank you.